Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Seven Days to Die uh, Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. And it's the morning of day eight and we're going to take off today. I decided we're going to go down to Jen's place. I've got a workbench crafting. I was able to get that started last night, but I think we're just going to go. I've got some stuff here to sell. We don't have much coin, but we want to use our chem station down there and hopefully get a couple of, um, a couple of new class books done. Uh, which would be great if we could. Um, I'm thinking that we're probably... This is just to retrieve the supplies, right? Let's find out where they are. I'm, I might just knock this, this off real quick before we go here. In the basement. Okay, cool. So this should go real quick, I think. Gonna get a little lag. So I turned my occlusion off, which has solved my problem with the textures at the traders. But it has created it so it's a little bit laggier than normal. Not a lot, but a little bit. So um, I'm willing to deal with that, I think. Once everything loads in, it's usually fine anyway, so... I got a shot off at her, but we didn't get her early. And I've also put the, the zombie um, movement speed at the jog now. So, um, it should make things a little more interesting in the fights. There's another level for us. That's level 18. Okay, we'll grab those. We'll come back and grab this other stuff at another date. We want to just get in here real quick and grab the, uh... Come on. Little bit of lag. I might have to turn it back on when I'm not near the trader. But that means quitting out of 7 days to die and coming back in, so... We'll just see how it goes. Die again. That's somebody outside. Where is this? Ah, right behind here. Okay, someone's coming downstairs, I think. Okay, perfect. Let's just take this back real quick. Make a little bit of coin. Is that a wandering horde, or is that just one? Or two? Oh, it might be a wandering horde. Oh, hey! How's it going? Might be a wandering horde, or it just could be the zombies showing up for the morning. They're gonna be on us a lot quicker now, just because they're on jog. Just means we really need to be like super vigilant. Yeah, here they all come. It's just the morning zombies. Scrap that real quick. Now, when we go down to Jens, I don't know if we're going to be coming back today. We may stay down there. Where were you? I don't. Was he already in there? I don't. Man, you're having a hard day. This feels wrong, but... <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, cut him a new asshole. Um, let's, get in, let's get into the trader and get this stuff out of here. Well, it looks like our trees have grown again. Let's just break these up. Now, this... Yeah. Cool, these have popped. So let's make a couple of animal feed. Get this done before we go. I meant to just just take off, but you know me. Got the opportunity to get some free resources. We'll just grab it. Ah, five eggs, that's not bad. Okay, we're only gonna take what we need for when we're down there. So I'll drop this stuff off back here. Look finish my quest with you. you. Ooh. Um. That's a good, uh. You know what? I don't know if we've got. Uh, do we have a hammer upstairs? It's been, like, I've been a, a week since I recorded. So I want to just double check. Because if we don't have a hammer, I might, we do have a hammer. So we don't necessarily need the hammer. Keep that. Can leave this here for now. Springs can stay, leathers can stay. 
Drop you two off. We need eight eggs. The five can stay. That can stay. And nerdy glasses. Do we have a pair? Are we wearing nerdy glasses? I think we are, right? Yeah, we are. So we can just sell those. Actually, we take the blue die out of that. I was selling the dies before, but now we're going to start hanging on to them. Just for making die. Just leave that there. All right, let's just... Actually, let's just go. We don't need to sell that to Hugh. We can sell it to Jen when we get down there. Although we will take... Um, what we're going to take now? Well, I lost the bet. Structural brace mod, I think. Here's some money. Let's take that. That's always handy. Okay, you got any more jobs? Anything close by? Fetch to the southwest. Can you do something for me? Glad sure. That's okay. A little bit more in town, but no big deal. Uh, what are we gonna put you in? Can't put that in there. Shovel or pickaxe? Probably pickaxe. Just so it lasts a little longer. That's fine. All right, let's get that. Actually, we should probably put that in the wrench. But let's get out of here. All right, looks like we found one of those houses with a gun bag in it too. We still got zombies coming out of the woodworks. So I gotta keep my eyes open. I think that's the industrial area of town, not downtown. So let's just quickly get up here and we'll grab the um, weapons bag. It's up here. I'm looking for a shotgun, um, shotgun parts. And there it is right there. Because now we can make a pump shotgun. Actually, I don't need anything else out of this place. So let's get out of here. I'm kind of glad that we find those, found those now. I, I got, I mean, I'm, I think I've got enough to make two pump shotguns. So we'll make one. I think once we hit level 20, we'll make one. Let's check the workbench at this place too. Smoke this guy. Oop. Moving a little faster than I thought he was. Okay, there should be a workbench around the back here. Sorry for the lag here. This is like the first time we've been through this part of town, so. It's kind of spending the time loading the... Ooh, landmine. Loading the uh, city in. Oh, we got a horde tonight. We got a horde tonight. So, I think once we get down to Jen's place, we can't mess around now. I thought I had that turned on in the evening. Maybe I put it for mornings. All right, let's get out of the town. <laughs> Just get right to Jen's place, because... Uh, we're going to have to find a place down there to, to set up a horde base. So I'm trying to take a little different route down here so I can pick up potatoes and carrots and stuff. Looks like there's a house here on the way. Can't remember if we encountered this the last time we were down here, but um, I want to see what house it is because some of these places I know are a quick... God, you sound so close. Oh, there's two of them. So that guy died. Did that guy take off? Let's get the honey. Screw you! Some of these places have got quick loot. I'm trying to remember now, what place is this one? Oh, this is the uh, log cabin or whatever it is. We're gonna drop that. Hey buddy. I'm not hanging around, talk to you. We're out of here. All right, there's Jen's place there. Ooh, what do we got here? Nothing. Okay, so my thought is once we get here, is we take a fetch clear and what we think will be a reasonable location. Because uh, making that die is going to be quick. And then we um, go clear the place out, do the fetch, and then depending on how much time we have left, we might go into town and have a quick look around. Because I'm thinking we'll just hold down the horde at whatever place that she sends us to. Um, yeah, and then I think we just go, if we got time, we'll go downtown to see if we can find some more book pages. Because if, if we can make two class books, that'd be great. And then I think for the horde tonight, ah, man, I gotta decide if we're gonna... Um, Let's see if she's got Molotovs first. I was going to say, we've got 16 Molotovs. Which isn't a whole heck of a lot, but... Right. 
shit out of bag. 15 rounds. All right, let's just get here. You know, I was gonna. Weird thing is too, I was, I was gonna bring the shotgun parts, and then assemble a shotgun down here. Cause if we, if we, I mean, if we had the pump shotgun tonight, that would be great. We'd have no problem with the horde. All right. First things first. Let's get this going. We're not gonna need much. Just one, one of these in here, and we can make four ink, I think. Let that go while we go talk to Jen here. Okay. Meds, drugs, yeah, so foods. much. It's such a better choice that to come all. down here to do that. Okay, inventory. We got some stuff to sell you. So we'll get rid of those. Gonna keep this. We'll probably use this tonight. And this guy. Uh, let's just drop it from our inventory. We'll just sell it. Okay, now. Uh, anything that's amazing. You got one grain alcohol. You got eight Molotovs. And then what do you got here? Um, we've got 200 and something, nine mil. You got more Molotovs. So let's take, how many can we get? We might be able to get almost all of them. Do we need all of them though? Let's get, um, I don't want to spend all my money. That I think that's plenty for tonight. For the business. Oh, uh, I need a job from you. Dust, um, since you know, we don't fetch to the southwest. Anything to the north? It clears zombies to the north. Oh, it's tier two. Um. You looking to earn some dukes? Downtown filler. Oh, soon. interesting. Okay. So let's leave a bunch of this stuff here. Um, so let's take this with us. Uh, what don't we need? We don't need the gun parts. We can just leave them in here for now. And we'll come back tomorrow and pick those up. I think we can get used to the landmine. Are we going to need the glue? I don't think so. But we'll take it with us just in case. I want to do the books tonight so if we, if we can find some pages. We'll go ahead and do that. I got some meat stew on me. Let's actually have one of those now. Um, yeah. Hopefully we don't forget to come back and get those. What's up, lady? Okay, southwest, so it's this way. Going into the town. Okay. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. Okay, we're just coming into downtown now. Stuff's just loading in. Oh man, it's so frustrating. That first load in is always the nastiest, and afterward it's like no problems at all, but... You know, that's just for me. Okay, we got a guy there. Take you out. Take you out. Grab whatever you dropped. You can just scrap that for the plastic. Kill you. Kill you. I'm so glad I updated the spear. We got a big boy somewhere. There he is. There you are. Man, we're not even new. We're not even at where we need to be. See ya. I don't want those guys trailing us into downtown. That's why I want to kill them now. Because you know damn well they will. Okay, downtown filler. Should just be over here. Grab you. Are we at the back of it? It's probably one of these. Hopefully it's not um, like on a like a upper floor or something like that. We can just grab it real quick. Because we're definitely not gonna fight the horde here. 
Okay, there's the uh, icon. See ya. Now, as long as we don't encounter any cops or spider monkeys or military guys down here. Wise guy CPA and shit's lie. Eh? We got someone coming from around back there. Let's just wait here for a second. Because uh, you know damn well we're going to have like about a hundred zombies in a minute. Maybe not. Let's look, let's look through some of these guys. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to find paper in there right now. Okay, well. Upper floor up here. And of course, this guy nowhere to be seen until I start the uh, quest. I don't even have any like bandages or anything on me. There's a weapons bag back there. Which leads me to believe. Okay. I was going to say it was, leads me to believe there's something nasty guarding it, but it's just some dude. Alright, those guys are down. You're down. Okay, that's locked. Anything good in there? I'll take the water. Go ahead and use you. I think we should just be able to smash this open, right? Wow. Really? That's it, eh? Why does it sound like someone's coming down the stairs? Ooh, that's nice. Oh, hey! That's because they probably are. I better start thinking about the horde. Let's scrap you. Let's scrap you. Where's the stairs on this side? Hey, Tex. What the? Oh, you came in the window. I didn't realize the window was open. Jeez. Ooh, gun safe. Ammo. Alright. AP ammo. Uh, is there... I guess I gotta go up the stairs? Alright, I don't know where that... creaking sound came from. I'm guessing it was... Somebody falling out of the ceiling in here. Is this open? No. You take your time, buddy. Oh, there it is there. Done. Cool. As much as I want to stay here and do other stuff, I want to get out of the downtown core. One, to save my frame rate, but two, to save us. What have we got in here? Actually, we're going to just scrap this. We'll keep the corn stock for now. We're not moving that slow. Okay, let's get out of the down... Actually, let's just go back to Jen. I don't see... That looks like houses over there. So, there's got to be a business area... Or, sorry, a retail area somewhere here. Oh, we got that building right there we could use. Whoops. Oh, you jump right into that one. I have no sympathy for you. All right, let's grab what we can get out of here. A junk sledge. Ooh, I wonder if we can utilize that tonight. 
Probably not, because we need to be pretty close to it. I've been trying to think of what the what are the two classes I'm going to choose with the two new skill books. And I'm thinking I'm going to go, because of all the new vehicles in Darkness Falls, I might go mechanic first. So that we can get some pretty cool looking vehicles. So rather than building a motorcycle, I'll build something else. Ah, you're out. And you're out. Um, yeah, so we'll build, uh... Like, I don't know what the options are. I know for Mechanic, once you get Master Mechanic, there's a lot of different options, like Humvees and things like that. So, it'd be kind of cool to have a really cool-looking vehicle that we can kind of go off-road with. But, I mean, from what I remember, like, I mean, the new, um... The new Alpha, the land's pretty flat. That might be the retail district over there. So let's go talk to Jan. Then we're going to head to the retail district. I think we find a building down there. Something where the I know the zombies can't get up to the roof. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll set up on a roof somewhere. And hopefully we can find a bookstore or something that we can grab a bunch of books from. Then tonight, um, we'll go ahead and um, get the... Uh, Have you got the dupe? Amazing. I do have I the dukes. Like your reward. 23 pistol we don't need. Four bandages? God is... No, I'm not going to take the bandages. That's just silly. 173 for that. 65. Let's just take this and we'll sell it back to you. We don't really need the pistol. We got a few things to sell you though. Make a few bits of coin off of that. I know this is better than ours. How much better? Ah, marginally. Swap it out, why not? These we can put in the chem station, I think. Um, so jobs. We don't need anything else. I mean, we could buy your last four Molotovs, but... You know what? Might as well, why not? Clear you out of Molotovs. We can burn the hell out of zombies tonight. Alright. Um, got any jobs? Anything more north? Clear to the north. Oh, this is the best way Old to get Victorian dudes. house? Yeah, okay. sure. Be careful. We're not going to do it right now. Let's get a get chest down done. here. Get that crafted. I think what we'll do is we'll put everything in the chest here. Just because, like, I know I'm going to put it right there. Because if I don't do this, I am going to forget that we have this stuff here. Okay, we don't need that on us. We don't need the plastic, the mechanical parts. We're going to need uh, 60 paper, at least. The glue can stay. I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, we might need that. I don't know. Um, yeah, we got enough to make one book and a, a one and a half books. So it's not too bad, I guess. All right, let's just grab the stuff out of here. Man, the sun's going down. Starting to get nervous. The sun's going down. I should have brought the workbench. Nope. Whoops. Here. I'm starting to panic. Okay, those guys can stay there. Actually, you know what we'll do? Just in case. Let's go talk to you. And we're going to grab a couple things What are you here. looking for? I am looking for a plaster cast and a splint. Want to buy a vitamin? Yes. You're welcome. A bit pricey, but we're going to do that. Just because um, that'll give us the ability to uh, heal ourselves tonight should we need to. Alright. Let's get to where we're going. Wherever that is going to be, I don't know. We've got more, not much time. Got a few hours. I mean, as long as we don't have to break out any stairs, like, then we'll be fine. As I, I mean, yeah. As long as we only have to break out, like, a ladder or something, we should be just fine. Okay, this looks like industrial, not retail. You're done? Yo, I'm over here, buddy. Adjust that trajectory. 
All right, wood in the spring. You got a bit of speed to you, don't you? Yeah, there should be plenty of buildings down here. Like, even in the industrial area, there should be plenty of buildings here for us to get up on top of. Oh, John Ham Radio. John Ham's is like a staple. If you can find that place, it's really not much. There's like a... Ooh, that's nice. That's not bad either. A little bit of steel. Repair kits, which we don't have. Um, yeah, so John Ham's radio has got like almost no zombies in it. Usually there's only like one. I think there was once I encountered more than one zombie. There was like two zombies or something inside there. But then there's a, a small spot up on the second floor that the ceiling has collapsed down to the first floor. And as long as you take those the planks that lead you up out, the zombies can't get up to the third floor. Okay, we'll take those. I think we go in here. Man, I gotta watch out. This lag's gonna kill me. Alright, we gotta clear out all the zombies first, so we'll wait for them to show up. Murder them. With extreme prejudice. Okay, got a few more here. Three, one back over here behind me to the back right. You can hear them creeping around back there. Oh, it's a wandering horde. Because if a wandering horde's going to show up at any time, it's going to show up right when I need to be clearing out a building. So the wandering hordes are going to get real nasty real fast in this game. My god, I can't afford to miss three times in a row. Worst part about it is this horde knows exactly where I am. I can't, like, run from them. They're already breaking into the building. Okay, you're done. Wish we had a shotgun now. Did I get the spider monkey? I think I did. There's another one, though. I can hear him. I can hear you. I don't want to waste my my firearm ammunition because uh, we got yeah. There's a second one. We got a horde coming, so want to make sure we have that in case we have an oh shit moment. I can let you get that. Oh god, guy behind me! It's a spider. All right, we're good. We're still fine. Everything's good. Everything's green. We're all green. Come on, jump, you bastard. There you go. Done. Did he just stand up? He just stood up. He should bleed out. I hit him three times. Yeah, he bled out. Okay, he's the threat. You're not, but... Kill some of the ads here first. Gotta watch my six now at all times. Alright, we'll go up over here and kill this guy. Get him up from behind us. It's a little more of a challenge now that they're a little faster, but not much more. Once you get used to their speed, it's not so bad, you know? And as long as you stay light, like, that's the key. And the key is to obviously not be hit, but... When you stay light, you're it's so much easier to be able to do that. And with the range of the spear, you don't have to close it all with them. You just got to make sure your six is safe, you know? Fucking prima donna. See that guy spinning? Bye, Mo. All right. I think we got a bag around the other side. Let's go have a look after we take a look at this. Anything in here? 
Yeah, I just scrap that. Take that. I want to grab that potato, but I'm not going to. We gotta keep ourselves nice and light here. All right. He says as he picks up a ton of shit. Okay. Well, let's get in here. Now that we're down to like only a little bit of time left. Locked. So let's leave that locked. Let's let them break in. Okay, there shouldn't be anything down here. Oh, except for you. It's a good thing he dropped down now. Hey, helmet light on. Yeah, so this is the room I was talking about. Once you get upstairs and break out this, they can't get to you. There's no way in this building that they can climb up. Short of like stair stepping up the wall, you know what I mean? Like they break a set of blocks getting up to the next level. Okay, so let's just break this stuff out. I'm gonna go up here and do it. I think we can break... Yeah, there's the thunder and lightning! I think if we break this, it'll drop down now. Low on stamina. There we go, that all drops. So they should not be able to get to me now, but we're gonna... I think we can upgrade that. And let's take these pieces out. Okay, that drops that down. We're gonna break out the... crappy pieces here, because we might get cops tonight, and if we do, we want to make sure we've got some protection here. Um... Uh, what am I doing here? Come on. Okay, I'm starting to panic. We should be fine, right? We should be fine. Don't have much protection from birds, but I don't think we'll get a lot. Like, we haven't been getting a ton, so... Get around to this side. Like that and that. And then we do that and that. Nope. Let's not do it that way. Okay, then what we want to do is go back to bars. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And go advanced. And do that and that. How much cobble do we have on us? Okay, I know there's some more cobble in the building here, so I'm not worried about that. Oh man, we got lots of water now. Grab those out of there. Okay, let's add... Um... Okay, so we've got a... piece of glass here. So let's just do that. Three, four, nope, let's go the other way. Like that. Now theoretically the vulture shouldn't come in there. They could still swoop down on us from above. Am I that worried about it though? We could just do... I don't think I'm going to upgrade these. I think I'll just leave them like this. Hmm, they're going to come in there. They might. They might. We'll just do that, and then if they break them out, fine. But then we, it gives us the ability to at least pick them up in the morning. Okay, let's go through this door here. Okay, we gotta go up to the roof too, because that's where all the good stuff is. I know we missed loot in the floor below us, but not really concerned about that right now. There's not a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we can scrap that. Actually, let's throw this out. Uh, let's get through... This door. 
Not a lot in here. Oh, we can scrap that. Three pages closer. Okay, now we can go up by going up this way. A little bit of food. Okay, not bad. Backpack. So where we want to go is up there. So what you got to do is you got to add a block like this. And I'm thinking that fire zombie was probably the only uh, zombie in here. I think if you haven't been here before and it's at later game stage, sometimes you'll get a bird up here. But I can't remember the last time I encountered one up here. I'm going to scrap that. All right. Grab the feathers if we can. Leave the rest. Okay, that's nothing. And then down here we've got... Uh, you got to go into here. Because there is a box in here. And this one is a cracker book. Yeah, man, textures. No matter what I do. All right, we got two more. Uh, let's just hang on a minute. We can scrap this one. Now, are we have we got the four by four yet? What am I doing? Um, vehicles for dumb shits. Yeah, we've got all of them, so we can just go ahead and scrap that book. I mean, if we take them, if we take um, uh, mechanic as our next. Uh, yeah, really. Just leave it. If we take mechanic as our next uh, class, then um, we'll get all that stuff anyway. Okay. So we got enough for... Actually, let's break this out. So we have room to maneuver. Break this out so we have room to maneuver. Now, if I was setting this up properly, um, and I'm not really because I'm just kind of panicking at the moment, uh, what you'd want to do, or what you can do, see these angle blocks? They count as a full block like this. So what you can do is you can put angle blocks in on the edges of your um, bars on both sides, and you can stand on your bars here and shoot down at the enemy. Generally, I like to put a 4x4 block below like a 4x4 frame here so that you can just shoot straight down. But if you put angle blocks here, right, just like this, so that you can, when you step back, you can actually see through, like between here and those, right? If you can actually have a gap there, then you can just throw Molotovs straight through that. And you're back far enough here that if you miss and hit the bars, then you're, it generally won't splash on you, so you'll be fine. So that's kind of a way, kind of a neat way that you can set up a bar situation like this. Yeah, let's not use the axe and still be protected um, but have access for molotovs you know all right now how much we, cobble do we have 38 so we got enough for three more blocks so let's just do that guy that guy and that guy because we're probably going to be back here most of the night all right well let's not die turn these guys into frames in case we need to pull back up again. Uh, okay, let's pull. Let's make a storage chest. Because if we do fall down and need to run, I don't want to be overloaded. So we'll drop everything in here that we don't necessarily need right now. Might need the cobble to repair. I doubt it, but you never know. Repair kits can stay on me just in case. This stuff, we want to be able to make the book, so let's keep it on us. The landmine we're not going to use, so that can stay in there for now. Junk slides we didn't get a chance to use, so that can stay in there for now. Anything important I want to keep on me, because if this box gets just destroyed, I, I don't want to be crying. <laughs> um, okay, we'll take that before we start. We'll swap these two around. Then let's take the shovel out. We might need these guys. Maybe. And then let's bring the two Molotovs down. 
All right, we'll eat this before we start. Actually, no, we're going to have some steak and potato before we start. We'll use this tomorrow. Yeah, steak and potatoes before we start. Put that there. Okay. I don't feel too, too bad. We've got splints. We've got that in case we get take a shot to the head. We've got the vitamins so that we shouldn't be infected tonight. Yeah, we're looking good. We are looking good. Normally, I'd want to have access outside so I can see what they're doing outside. Because for the first bit of the horde, they're going to be, like, trying to break in. Um, but on day eight, you know, we, yeah, we got two hordes under our belt, but they shouldn't do too much damage to the building. Um, let's see here. So we've got six skill points available. What level are we now? Are we 20 yet? We are 20. Oh, okay, we can spend our points now. So let's do that while we're waiting. Okay, weapon crafting, definitely we want to go up one. Tool crafting, we want to go up one. And gun crafting, we want to go up one. We've got three points left. We may have to add two into science crafting, because I think that gives us the ability... This is level 60, so we, or 50. So we don't have to worry about that. Coil grunts level, what, 50? 60. Um, so we have the ability to make most stuff now down here. The chem station, I think, is... Science Crafting 2. Concrete mi Mixing is Science Crafting 2. So we do need to put a point into Science Crafting 2. What's this guy? Player level 25 for the Big Forge. So we got a few levels to go. So let's put one into here. we got two points left. Um, the more I run, the more I think Pack Mule is worth it. But it really isn't because we're going to... we got the ability to make a motorcycle. So I'm not that worried. Uh, what do I want to spend my points on here? That's the question. You know what? I think we're going to hold on. Oh, I know what else we're going to do. We're going to take Scavenger as our next uh, class. Where is it here? Scavenger, because of charismatic nature. We get two quest rewards at level 5 here, but you have to be level 20 and have the uh, this one done. So we're going to do that. We'll save the points for that. Uh, they're going to take a little bit to break in. It's nice to have a little bit of light down there. Okay. Let's just eat this real quick. Drink one of these guys. And let's take this. Because that'll last the whole horde. Come on, you bastards. Bring it in. I got some hugs here for you. I wonder if I want to break these blocks out and put angles in. I think I do. Come on, you guys. Maybe we just leave them out. That's a Yeti. Lumberjack. Let's do it this way. Um, shape... Right, here you are. And then we want to go advanced. Like that. So we can at least walk on it. But still have a full view down there. We can just throw shit down. Perfect. Alright. Go back to this. We're pulling. There you are. Oh, you're going to break the stairs out. Wow. Uh. Wow. How did... I watched it go down there. Like, I, you guys saw me... Like, I... Whatever. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say to that. Should I try again? I'm kind of immune to the flames right now, so... You know what it is? And I tried this... Um out of a series. When you charge it and throw it, it becomes completely unpredictable. But if you light it and then just click and drop it, it works no problems. You don't hit anything. But you can't you can't pitch it anywhere, right? That's the problem. Hey buddy. You're a hazard, so let's get rid of you. I want to stop them from breaking the stairs out. 
but I don't think it's going to matter. They're going to break the stairs. Once they break the stairs... Fuck off. They gotta fix the Molotovs. Like, I mean, honestly. How do I stop them? Maybe I can... Maybe I should have broken these out completely. If they break the stairs, then it's... Then they can't get up here, right? And that's like a waste of a horde. We got, like, no experience. I mean, we are level 20, so... I don't know what that hit. It's nice to know that we're wasting every single one of our Molotovs. Because I have no idea what that's hitting. At least these guys are burning. Yeah, burn. Okay, we got a bird already. A couple of birds. Maybe we rely on, maybe we rely on bird XP. Where are you? I hear the damn guy, but I can't see him anywhere. It's so bizarre that when that... Like, I've done this before with the angle blocks. I don't even think I hit him. I think I did hit him, but I don't think this P225 does a lot of damage. See? Just click and drop, no problem. But if you charge it and go to throw it, you'll hit a wall or you hit something else. It's... I don't know. I don't know, man. Another bird? Night of the birds, where the hell is he? Okay, can I get you... Okay, another one down. Another bird coming. Nice. So I think I turned the horde up to 10 zombies as well. Alright. Light. Drop. Don't hit anything. But you think I could aim it and throw it? No. I mean, I know Molotovs are unwieldy, so I guess it's kind of like, makes sense, but... Burn, 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 and die. More dogs, wow. I can hear another one out there, too. At least I didn't break the stairs out. I can kind of still see them there. That's my biggest fear, is they break those stairs out. It's a cop. I wonder if we're actually going to get any bags tonight. I mean, it's probably better that we don't... Nope, 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 don't blow up! Okay. Got lucky. Hey, big boy. We're going to wait for some of your friends to show up, okay? I got a present for you. As much as I want to, like, shoot you with a gun right now. Yeah, don't even charge it. You won't die from one bit of flame. You will now, though. I hope. He might not. He might. Oh, he did. I had to put one in him just to make sure. 159. What if we take this one out, too? I'll probably regret it. Did they break the stairs? Can't tell. Oh, I know where they are. So there's a little roof out top. Like, 
the back patio kind of on the loading dock on this place at the bottom there it's got like a little roof on it and you can go out the window and onto the roof and I bet you they've done that they're out there on the roof uh, let's see if we can get them back inside what if we go over here precariously run over here see if we can draw them to a different area of the building hopefully we don't fall here They're banging on the walls outside. Yeah, but this building, I mean, you could turn this into a pretty cool base and use the first two floors as your horde base and your up and the and the upper floors as the like, as where you live. Cuz the building is brick all the way around and it's pretty stable. Like they have to do like early game, they have to do a lot of damage. To, um, to bring this place down and by the time you've got a cement mixer and whatever you know there's three guys down um, once you've got a cement mixer you can just like concrete all the walls reinforce them add more blocks on the outside and then use this like the stairs up to the second floor this would be your fighting platform you could fill the whole part below there with concrete and then just have like stairs or a ramp that comes either from outside in is that a cop? It was. And outside he went. How rude, man. Just gonna spit at me and run, eh? And outside he goes to blow up. God damn it. This thing just doesn't have a, the... the quick pace and firepower that we need. Okay, I got the dog. I think I got the spider too. Come on, somebody else run in there. Yeah, that was the spider. Okay, he dropped the bag. The dog's burning out. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But this, I mean, like I said, this building, like the inside's all wood, right? But that doesn't take much to upgrade. You know, this thing is all iron around here. That floor, like that's iron pillars. There's a pillar in the center that's iron. You could knock the center pillar out and this building would still stand. Like you don't have to worry about the center pillar. Which is kind of cool, right? So if the zombies are hitting on shit, it's not like they can pull out a, like a linchpin and the whole building would come down. This building will last quite a while. down. Why am I wasting my ammo? I don't know, but I gotta do something. I feel like I'm so ineffectual with the sword. It's not this, I mean, once you set this place up for the zombies to have a clear path to you, then they'll form up in certain areas, but right now they're just gonna be all over the damn place because there's no real one place, and they may have knocked those stairs out. They may very well have knocked the stairs out. The fog's gone now, so let's see if I can... Yeah, they did. Or did they? Looks like they may have knocked the stairs out. I can't get a better vision with this, but... They may have... I, th I think they knocked the bottom rung of stairs out, so now they're all outside beating on shit. I was really hoping for more, but what can you do? All right, we'll let them beat. Let's make a book here whilst we's waiting. Now that I know that they can't get in, let's just put you there for now. We'll be picking you up in a minute. And let's go ahead and make a blank class paper a couple of minutes. Yeah, they can't get up, unfortunately. Okay, let's go back out here then. I might be able to milk this spot a little more. Oh, yeah. All right, we've got a couple of the Yetis on fire. Yeah, spider monkey. Let's at least burn one more of these Molotovs before the morning. Don't know how long it is till morning, but we want to at least have only one stack left because I don't want to carry an extra stack of these if I don't have to. 
So Molotov's gonna be relatively easy to make later on in the game. Oh, for fuck's sakes. After all I said about just being able to click and drop, and then not being able to click and drop. Are you serious? Alright, let's try again. There we go. That worked. Yeah, so all we need to do is get some oil shale, and then we'll um, be able to make oil, and then grain alcohol is easy. It's just murky water and, uh, and cornmeal. So we can make a ton of grain alcohol. And then um, we can just make Molotovs continuously. But later, like, using Molotovs like this later game is really not going to cut it. The zombies just aren't, aren't going to die from the from the flames. They just won't. So we're going to have to get real cunning on, on what we do for later on. Most likely it'll be end up being grenades and then pulse grenades. Because we got to be able to stop the demons regen. And what we'll do is we'll probably... Like, my horde base, I'm thinking... For the future is going to be a multi uh, multi um, area base so if one thing is not working we'll, we'll move on to something else uh, or just have different places of the base to minimize the amount of damage the zombies can do so i think what i want to do is do a combo kind of walkway slash pit base to start somebody recommended and i apologize i'm terrible with names but somebody recommended um lining like a pit base with um blade traps and then using spikes at the bottom that's only going to last for the first hour or so, and then they'll be useless unless I can repair them. It's just a waste of resources because these zombies, like the, the the hordes, are just going to be so big at some point, and the zombies are just going to be so tough that those aren't going to do enough damage to really kill anybody. So it's going to be, you know, somehow delaying them, most likely with electric fences, and then hitting them hard with like turrets or dart traps or something like that while they're locked in place something that we can get a continuous stream of damage going to them and then with the demon regen like once the demon starts showing up on horde night forget it because if you don't get rid of the demon regen no matter what damage you do to them they'll just regenerate it all back in a, in a, in a few seconds anyway so it, you're just wasting one ammunition if you're using dart traps or, or turrets or two um like you're just wasting like hits from a, a blade trap or something on them because they're just going to get all the health back anyway. What's the point, right? So what you really want to do is get rid of that regen. And I know you can make a mod that you can put into a junk sledge. Um, so one of the things I want to do is do a walkway base, pair of junk sledges, which I think I, which is why I want to kind of go into mechanic early to be able to um, rank up the robotics stuff early. Um, and then we'll use the junk sledges, a uh, pair of junk sledges to knock the zombies off of a walkway base into a pit base where they'll go down into a hole and then I can just drop a whole bunch of explosives in there just to blow them all up, right? We'll still give them a way out of the hole, but they are going to start to collect down there um, because we'll make it a limited way out so that some of them can kind of get out. Just like... They're going to wail on the walls anyway, but I mean, we want to just kind of give them a limited like way out um, so, that, so that they can get out. Um, but yeah, I think we do a pit base where we can just drop shit in on them. And my thought is, it's going to be similar to my last, well, not really similar. Um, there'll be a walkway up to a catwalk that'll be like basically right in front of us, maybe like 10, 10 blocks out from where we're going to be standing on a second level high platform looking out at them. And then the walkway I will go across maybe like eight blocks. And the two blocks there, there'll be sludge turrets pushing them towards us, which will drop them into a pit that's between us and the walkway. If it makes, if that's making any sense. All right, we gotta go kill these guys now. Should be able to do it with the uh, spear. Let's get our book. And let's just go ahead and do the mechanic. Oh, actually I'm gonna go scavenger first. Let's go scavenger first. Because that should be quick to do the... Uh, the classes. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back tomorrow, or the next episode, 
We'll pick it up from where we left off. I'll kill the guys down below, and then we'll head out to see if we can grab some more pages. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.